A few weeks ago, our junior correspondents took us to this year's LA Cookie Con and Sweets show. This time, we will go back as Alan and Eva of our LA team speak with the baker's confectionery artist and sugar craft fans at what is coined the West Coast's biggest baking and pastry convention. Take a look. While training, it's common for athletes to follow a strict diet to control their caloric intake. But today's competition is a little bit different because we'll be competing with our stomachs to see just how many stacks of cookies, cupcakes, and confections we can possibly devour. Touted as the West Coast's biggest baking, pastry, and sweets convention, this is the LA Cookie Con and Sweets Show in Anaheim, California. From wedding cakes to macaroons and a wide variety of delicious surprises, LA Cookie Con is the ultimate desserts destination. Cookie Con is just a lot of fun. I mean, you could bring the whole family. You could, there's a kid zone. Um, Ron Ben Israel was here today. He did a, a whole demo on everything he's done in, in his career. Um, it's just fun. He's dancing in the aisles. Um, it's the same thing like Comic Con, um, but you can eat, and there's so many different types of sweets. And it's not just cookies, it's pastries. We've got someone making cotton candy back there. There's cake pops right over there. Um, and it's just a fun event for everyone. Best-selling authors, Food Network stars, and YouTube influencers join an impressive list of industry personalities being showcased in LA Cookie Con. Which, in your opinion, in your experience, is tougher, MMA or baking? Well, they're both really tough. Obviously, mixed martial arts physically is extremely demanding, mentally and emotionally. But I'll tell you what, I get more mad when I'm baking and something doesn't go right because it's like you're working so hard for it. And usually there's like a time crunch, like the cake is due and you got to have it. And like the stress level, it just goes up. But it's so rewarding to so many people when you can deliver a beautiful product that, you know, everybody's going to get to enjoy, not just looking at, but eating it. How did you discover that being a chef baking and just creating these wonderful cakes was going to become an important part of your life? Uh, it's very simple. Since I was a young kid, not only I liked eating cakes, I realized when I make a cake or special dessert, like a flan, and I bring it to a party, everybody remembers me and the dessert. Yes. So even though people slave over a hot stove all day making a dinner, when you bring the dessert, you're the star of the show. Did you ever imagine that your work in the kitchen would lead to opportunities like this one? I did not. The fact that I could just go from simply baking at home, posting some videos on YouTube, to being at LA Cookie Con, a sold out show like this, demoing on stage, meeting Ron Ben Israel, Duff Goldman, dreams come true. Guests at the LA Cookie Con are able to sample both elegant and simple delights. Now while no two cookies have the same recipe, the desire to deliver a palate pleasing experience is a shared goal of every baker, chef, and business owner. What motivates you to share what you love to do with others? So uh, for me, it's a lot about the design of the cake pops. I enjoy designing things, custom orders for people, and um, I enjoy seeing people's reactions when they, they receive their cake pops and just knowing that they have something special for the events that they order them for. There's a ton of people here today. How much did you have to prepare to feed them all? You're right, there are a lot of people here. We were pleasantly surprised as how many people were here. And we, our staff, we prepared over a thousand items for the function and we sold out pretty early. I think my, my motivation, well, besides the fact that I have an extreme passion for what I do, is to share the artwork because I consider what we do to be artwork and the creativity, it's extremely fun. What's it been like uh, displaying and presenting yourself here? Oh, well, I love it. As you can see, I get to stand here in this cartoon kitchen. And over to the right of us here, we have a whole station set up where kids can come in and decorate a cookie for free. And they get to really spark their own imagination and creativity and eat something sweet, which is something I love to do. Like kids at a super-sized candy store, guests at this sweet show were able to explore new ways to satisfy their sugary cravings. What was your reaction when you heard about this kind of convention? Um, I was excited. I've been here in the past years, and so I was really looking forward to another year. Guys, are you an eater or a baker? Eater. Eater. Baker. Baker. Eater. <laughs> I am kind of both, <laughs> um, but, but I definitely am a baker. I actually went to culinary school, so baking is my life. <laughs> bought cookies, bought a bunch of treats, see what cool things that we can, you know, snack on here. With so many treats, 
we had to be careful not to lose focus. That is, until one of us decided to wander away. After the rush comes the inevitable crash. So when indulging, just be careful not to overdo it, especially if you're weak for sweets. Reporting from Anaheim, California, on behalf of Alan, who's probably somewhere eating a cookie, I'm Eva for Eagle News, and we are one with 25. Looks like Alan's hand has been caught in a cookie jar, literally. Thanks, Eva. That is today's Eagle News, Washington, D.C. Join us again tomorrow for stories that matter to you. Visit our website at eaglenews.ph, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash eaglenewsph. On behalf of Eagle News, Washington, D.C., thank you for watching. I am Sarah Nachman. I am one with 25.